your favorite thing about being a drag queen? My favorite thing about being a drag queen is, uh, is you get a chance to really explore like every facet of creativity, in my opinion. That's what I say every time. Yeah, you're, it's you're, like fashion, it's entertainment, makeup, it's acting, acting it's music. Pro producer, it's... bouncer, I've been a bouncer. <laughs> <laughs> I've like body slammed someone in drag before. Okay, Doji, tell me about your, your nun, like your nun, your Shane style. Your non-drag style. When I'm not in drag, yeah. it's pajamas and homeless attire. But everything I own is like $600 and everyone thinks I'm homeless and I'm like, these are really expensive pants. And they're like, well, they, you look homeless. <laughs> like, homeless, like, homeless chic. Where's your favorite place to see uh, shows in New York City? You know, I honestly, my favorite place is Barracuda. I think it has like legendary drag. Jackie sure. Beat, Sherry Vine, Peppermint, Bianca Del Rio, Dallas Dubois, Tina Burner. Everyone's gone through there. Shasta Cola. New York City is the best city in the world. And we have some of the best drag. We, we, we have one million drag queens. Every day there's a new poopy diapers. I want to get paid, girl. I want to get paid. <laughs> I love this, 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 this your new drag name, poopy diapers. If you did drag in any other city, where would it be? If you had to leave New York City and do drag, where would it be? Ooh. I have my answer already. And it's based off this tour. You go first. Austin, oh, Texas God. was so but it's my favorite town we've what been to. What a beautiful to. city. And the men are gorgeous. Yes. The what is it with, the, there's something in the water. I don't know, I don't and the bars were big, huge. Everyone was friendly, was, every person was not. I was like, why is everyone yeah. so nice to me? A girl goes, do you want to drink? And I was like, I don't really drink. She goes, can I get you a Red Bull? I said, I've had a lot of Red Bull. And then she goes, can I get you a slice of pizza? And I was like, <laughs> no one has ever asked me if I want a slice of pizza. She just really she cared about the service. And she took me to the pizza place. We ended up talking about wrestling. That is really funny. It was amazing. It was pretty funny. My fierce. favorite subject, by the way, to talk about. Pizza? <laughs> sure. I was going to say wrestling, but. Oh, you, are you a big wrestling fan? No! <laughs> <laughs> no, how do you, is, is it, it nerve-wracking uh, getting ready to see yourself on TV? I think, I mean, that was a blast. It was crazy. Oh, what a good show. I made friends with all the girls, but I'm kind of nervous. But I think, I don't know. I'm, I was always on it, you know yeah, what I mean? So I I'm think excited. Like, I, I was always on all the challenges, both of us. Yeah. I think we came there like ready, ready, ready to win. To, ready to work, you know? Yeah. I was ready to show off and, and do a good job. No, I'm excited. It's, it's going to be a little bit nerve wracking to see myself on TV on a weekly basis and yeah. everyone's got opinions on what I did and what I should have did. And it was the way. People say, what's it like? And I'm like, honestly, there's nothing I can compare it to. Yeah. There's no metaphors, there's no similes. I've never done anything like this. I can't compare it to anything. Yes. It's like being on RuPaul's Drag Race. Yes. It was a ride. Should we like, should we like hold hands and walk into the sunset now? Sure. Ugh. Goodbye, San Francisco. Bye, San Fran. Yay, gay, gay. <laughs>